Welcome back to Morning Baraka. Nutrition, food. Excellent. Favourite topic. Um, so this morning we're going to have um, vitamin boost and a food that's good for energy and obviously boosting our vitamins. Absolutely. Um, the goodness absolutely. of the food that we're extracting. Um, so we have so many pills on the market. Yes. And pill for everything. Everything. And then we've got an array of natural foods. So what's your experience? Do you think it's better to have the, you know, eat as healthy as we can and then perhaps supplement? Or is it okay to take the pills and then sort of not to? I am an, I'm an advocate of the natural. So mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not really a fan of pills personally. I yeah. mean, some people gain benefits, cod liver oil tablets, whatever, but I prefer making that your food is your medicine. Making okay. the, the, the actual diet or the nutritional intake that you mm -hmm. have is healthy and that is the key. So on a daily basis, do you have a lot of vegetables protein like fish oily fish what do you do to make sure that you're hitting your vitamin well they target? talk they always talk about a balanced diet so it's yeah. about having the right proportions of carbohydrates healthy fats i'm stressing the healthy fats because not just fats but healthy fats and also your proteins having a good mixture okay so for the sake of the viewers carbohydrates what are the examples and so we've got brown rice mm -hmm. my favorite is brown rice people like brown pasta i don't eat pasta myself yeah. but brown pasta is cool um, sweet potatoes, and you have. So you're emphasizing on the brown. Yes. Um, yeah, whole meal. You know, more, yeah. more, more, whole, more of the whole meal. So even people who who do eat bread, again, I try to stay away from bread, but brown bread, yeah. whole meal bread. These are the better types of breads for your so carbohydrates. Okay. And then what about what about the white ones? The white bread. That, you know? Tend to be a bit starchy, but starch. You do need some starch in in your diet, but okay. I'm, I'm just a little. Is it nutritionally, it's healthier to yes. have the brown versions. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, there's nothing that beats white toast and butter, no, I have to say. No. And on a cold day in England and a nice cup of tea. So um, <laughs> when we look at sort of like, so that's your carbohydrates. And then you said, you know, protein. What's an example? Good protein for a daily. Old fashioned chicken. Yeah. Nice protein. Um, you have your red meats. I know mm -hmm. people say you shouldn't eat, eat too much red meat. Yeah. Um, but red meat is, 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 is pretty good. Okay. You know, you've got your turkey, your beef. You know, and fish. There's such a wide variety of fish from uh, so omega-3. You're talking your salmon and... Yeah. So when I think about healthy food, and I'm, you're saying about meat and fish, things like that, I would think that you'd probably have seasoning and grill, grill it or something. And rice, yeah. for instance, so we have... Poaching, grilling, avoiding f um, f deep fat frying food. Okay. You know, preparing your food in that way. Right. Because then it's higher in... Um, not so good cholesterol. Okay, okay. Yeah. And then even rice, what's the best way? Because, you know, we have palaos and, you know, we have quite sweet rice. And Boil, sweet plain sweet boiled sweet. rice or, you know, if you might, uh, you want to jazz it up yeah. with a little bit of seasoning and a little bit of spinach. Mm -hmm. You know, that's that's pretty cool. So what, how do the Caribbeans eat it? Rice and peas, plain rice or different oh peas, right. you know, black eyed peas, yeah. what they call kidney beans, what we call it, red peas, stuff like that. Right, so and always with coconut, the coconut and the thyme, just to give it that... And what about, mm. then, what about other cuisines then? So, for instance, we have palau, which is, you know, you could um, fry an onion, you'll put some chicken in there or lamb, um, and then put the rice in there, white rice, and then you mm -hmm. sort of, you know, cook it, and then you... Is that healthy? Is that something that you, you know, you'd sort of say go for the simpler version, not go for the I think like this, Yeah, I think this, the simpler versions are less complex, plainer, you get your carbohydrates in and you're good to go. Okay. All right then. So but nothing wrong with a bit of spices to make the, you know to bring yeah. the food alive. You know. So would you say food doesn't have to, healthy food doesn't have to be bland. Yeah. I'm no chef, but I could I, I, I could vouch for that. Okay. Well, I take your word for it. Um, <laughs> what about things <laughs> like um, so if we had sort of like people that are used to sort of curries and they're quite you know lamb I like chicken curry. curries. I like curry. Would you say limit that to sort of once once a week or or something that like people can have regularly and perhaps with salads how can it they balance that yeah but i think i do think it depends on what people want to what people are trying to obtain nutritionally because some people want to bulk up some people want to stay trim some people they're eating for energy boost what, yeah. what type of meal you know like i like i would we prepare different smoothies for different purposes yeah all to to obviously feed the body okay but you know with different goals in mind or right. emph different emphasis in mind so depending okay so let's talk about this energy boost vitamin boosting uh, as smoothie. They or they say in America, vitamin, you know, um, <laughs> let's, let's get into it. I'm sure we have some viewers from America, vitamin. <laughs> that's, that was to make them feel at home. Yeah. So, so we'll what get we our got? container, yep. like voila, and we have, um, what's, what's that? This is coconut water. Okay. And it's a very, um, 
you know, like very rich, nutritionally rich food. How does it benefit yeah. people? This As opposed to plain iced water, you know, water or... Energy. Yeah, energy. Cleanser. Mm-hmm. There you have it. Okay, what else? We've got some pineapples. Nice, healthy, unprocessed like sugars. Pina colada then, isn't it? Oh, well, I, I wouldn't know. I mean, I would. There, there are... Um, uh, um, virgin ones. Yes, that's the, right, that's the word. Yeah. So. <laughs> totally halal pina colada. No, it's really good, actually. You get most of them um, quite... Anyway, I'm not talking about... <laughs> um, what else? Oh, we have melon. Watermelon. Cleanser. Okay, so watermelon is it's a fruit it's that a lot of people eat during Shah Ramadan. Yeah, it's because um, it's an energy food, isn't it? It's right. a superfood. Yeah. And um, and full of anti antioxidants, you know, okay. good for the immune system. Is it good for like, hydration as well? I think yes, it's very water -based. definitely, yeah. definitely, definitely. So hot country, they love watermelons in, you know, like in hot, hot countries. Climates, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, it's an amazing fruit, isn't it? How it's much you beautiful, in the absolutely beautiful. Okay, so you've got your watermelon. A little bit of spinach. <laughs> so I'll swivel. What's the benefit of spinach? In spinach is superfood. Um, okay. Alkaline food. Remember, so uh, neutralising anything? Yeah, neutralises the acid ah, in the stomach. You know, good for people. So is pineapple quite acidic? Yeah, like it, it, it reminds me of like citrus family. Yeah. You know, that little yeah. bit. Of Tangy, isn't it? Yes. Right, what else have you got? Um... Bit of green apple, bosh, bish, and um, banana. Right, so they're going to be. And children, up. please don't try this at home without supervision of an adult. Yeah, that's. that's uh, I'm just thinking you've got a mixture of vegetables and fruit in there. Yep. So, spinach, is that something, is that quite a common ingredient for smoothies? Yeah, yes, that's one of the. the um, interesting things about smoothies that they, people you know kind of originally just thought of smoothies as yeah you know it's just some fruit yeah whipped up yeah. but now you know we're getting more creative mm. with the combinations and then people are surprised so they think oh, how does that go together mm. you know but they do yeah you'd be amazed do you think you can just mix anything like you know if you were just having one of those days you've got lots of ingredients just um chopping it all up and i don't know if um or is it something that you should really have sort of a to yeah, I think it, it, you can probably if you if you don't know what you're doing, there's no there's no danger, you're not in any danger, but you might put like but you might put sort of acidic with alkaline oh. and you know things like that. Okay. We wouldn't want to put like I don't know okay. milk with orange or something that would, yeah. would would be antagonistic and curdle. So yeah, you know. Okay, so you're putting in. So we're just getting in the bananas banana. in, yeah. Well, and they banana makes it quite um, gives it body. Pleasant, you think so? Yeah. Makes it rich? Mm, definitely. Okay, that's, that looks All so right. colourful. Oh, it looks good, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it does. Almost just good to eat. I almost don't want to blend it. So, vitamins are really important as our daily intake. So, mm -hmm. what about people, you know, for sort of like the mood it puts people in? You know, if, if we're lacking vitamins, for instance, uh, they're quite important for people to have on a regular intake of a variety of vitamins mm -hmm. um, so in terms of mood how does it how do vitamins actually affect mood if you become def um, deficient in something mm -hmm. it does show up in certain characteristics doesn't it in your behavior I mean you could have people that have you know vitamins that are lacking um, you know a you know C vitamin C and yeah yeah yeah, yeah. vitamins are, are quite quite important to the body I mean I've, I even know that for example that if you have certain Bone conditions, mm. scoliosis, for example, you know, curva, curv yeah. curvature of the, the spine. You know, if you don't have vitamin D, for example, yeah. that it can even affect, you know, you, you can actually increase the spine, yeah. the, the, the actual curve. Yeah. So is, th is that important? But food in general, mm. food affects mood. There's, there's been a lot of research out about food and mood, certain types of foods that are addictive, but it's more to do with your processed food yeah. because there's all these different chemicals that are in the food that we don't know about. And that's why I w when people talk about, ha Muslims say halal food, but I always say, what about tayyib? Why does the Quran yeah. talk about pure food? You know, because there's yeah. certain additives that they might come under the halal banner, but I don't know in terms of our making our sugars crash and, you know, yeah, rise, yeah. Sharp, spike and crash and things like this. So, mm. you know, it can... And, and for children growing and elderly as well. Exactly. Like pregnant women. Exactly. These all things Medical conditions. Yeah. Okay, well, that's well. really nice, actually. Let's have a blast then of your smoothie. Mm-hmm. And while you are doing that, I am going to just quickly narrate a hadith about 
Let's see how all this goes. Okay, so um, four food possesses four qualities, and if we have them, they are that makes, makes per food perfect. So it's being halal, eating it with other people. So you're talking about you know cultures, sharing, culture, sharing. world cultures, and sharing food. Um, starting with the name of Allah and ending it with a praise of God, and that's that's the Holy Prophet peace be upon him, who's you know not just telling us how to eat food, like be, make sure it's halal. Um, it's a sharing as well. Um, and then remembering Allah that He has given us this blessing. Um. Alhamdulillah. Wow. Okay. Give it a whisk. It's interesting. It looks nothing like that spinach. Just overpowers it, doesn't it? It does indeed. It's um, all green. And the apple. The apple as well. The apple as well. Yeah. And it's good to. Does it make a difference which apples kind of you use in smoothies, like red or? Um, only slightly. Only slightly. I would tastes say. Tastes quite different, aren't they? Yeah. They're yeah. Quite but apple a day yeah. does keep the doctor away, they say. Okay. Are we, our poor crammer and crew have probably got their mouth watering. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can smell the apple in this actually. The apple really? is quite rich, yeah. Which is good. And you put ha about half in, didn't you? So. Mm, yeah. Okay. All right. Voila. <laughs> Voila. It's exciting. Bosh, bish, excuse right. me. Thank you. All right, this right. here goes. Three, two, one. Bismillah. Quite That's sweet. Um, a very earthly taste. It can taste a lot of apple. Mm. I like the coconut water. I like the coconut water. I like it. I think it makes it quite light, doesn't it, the coconut mm -hmm. water? Mm -hmm. um, Whereas that banana I was saying make, make it a bit heavy, so that was, uh, it's nice. It's you have nice. the apple coming through. Mm. Smooth texture. It's quite, um, it's quite runny, isn't it? So mm, I don't yeah. Think can see it. Yeah. It's and nice. you can, and you you can moderate the texture by adding, for example, an extra banana. I mean, mm. the ingredients will be up on the website, but just yeah. say, for example, you know, okay, I like it with a lot more body. You put, put half more a, in what half you want. a little bit, yeah, a little bit extra banana or a little extra water if you like it. Would you serve so um, smoothies to your guests if you had people over? I would. I would. Um, encourage a kind of smoothie culture amongst the Muslims and people in general mm. but amongst the Muslims it'd be nice to you know say I've got a particular type of you know wholesome drink you wouldn't try it out mm. and you know it's like try and develop a new like we bring back dinner parties where people eat together and discuss yeah. things yeah bringing people together with food I think why not hey bring so the smoothies serve in. them smoothies yeah okay well so come to my house you'll get Oreo milkshake <laughs> okay sounds no. good sounds good <laughs> so in terms of um you know what's your sort of favorite um, um, my favorite blitz is uh, banana. I stick to my banana, yeah. my porridge, titch of peanut butter. I okay. keep it. I keep really? it simple. Really, you don't. Yeah. So, would you add blueberries into that sort of mixture? Uh, only sometimes because yeah. I, I'm funny with my sugars. I don't have mm. any medical condition, but I just I have a sweet tooth, mm -hmm. so I don't want to um, so do trigger trigger that, mm. that sweet that sweet rush that I, I like so much. So, I so how do you control that? Like in your willpower, how do you have something like? perhaps dates what do you have natural food that's got sugar in what do you yes i just eat vegetables i try to concentrate on vegetables and a little bit of fruit but you, you, as, you know when you uh, process mm. fruit that it does create a bit more sugar so you always need to be aware of that it's not bad but it just means that there's you've now created more sugar in, is, is, uh, in the food Thank you so much. No that problem, was uh, no a nice food. Thank you for your effort. And um, hopefully the viewers do try it at home. Yeah, definitely. They should try it out. They should um, try it out in shop. Next up we have um, Sister Amy 